Hey troops, Jerry J Smith here with another LEGO Star Wars classic review. And today we have the Corporate Alliance Tank Droid from 2008. Set number 7748, ages 8 to 14, um, contains 216 pieces and retailed back in 2008 for £20 or $20. So, yeah, uh, so, really good price, you know, it's the same price as the new one, so that's good. The new 2013 one, which you can, can still buy. Um, so, yeah, uh, great set, it is a good set. I, this is the second variant um, out of three we've had uh, in the past so far. Personally, I like this one more than the first one. The first one really wasn't accurate at all. Uh, this one's a lot easier to get, cheaper, and just, you know, before the 2013 one came out, it was it was very good, and a lot of people had a lot of these, you know, very good for mocks, very good for all this. Um, we don't see that often, we see it in, I believe, episode 3, and I think that might be it, actually. Now, this particular model is based off the Clone Wars, uh, which I suppose, yeah, it was in the Clone Wars probably at some point, even though we never, never saw it in the Clone Wars. Um, thing is though, I just want to say that the, the new 2013 one, this one, basically, which I'll be comparing later, um, was based off of episode 2, which as most of the um, 2013 line was. However, we never saw an episode 2, and the reason it was based off of episode 2, because we never saw it, was because it was one of those deleted scene things, and it sort of brings the question, what do we count as proper Star Wars? Like, what, like, what, you know... How do we count it as Star Wars? Because there's so much elements to the Star Wars universe that we don't know about, you know. Is it just anything made by George Lucas? Um, do we include the deleted scenes as actual parts, just we don't see them? Or what? Um, so that so that brings us to the debate. So technically we never saw this particular mod in Episode 2. However, it was in the deleted scenes, which is why they could base it on Episode 2. But that really has no relevance to this set. Don't really know why we're into that, really. <laughs> but anyway, so let's just go back to this set. Um, this one is based off the Clone Wars. Hence, you can see the Clone Troopers. Uh, just sort of general Clone Wars design. Um, yeah, so it was a really great set. Only The good thing about it, unlike the first one, um, this was only £20. So, you know, you, you could get a bunch of these really, really easily. Rather than the other one where you got like a Wookiee different thing and it cost a lot. And yeah. But anyway, so. Alright, let's start with the set. Um, right, so first of all, we only get two different types of figures, but we do get two clones. This is awesome. This was a great set of getting clones. This set was just generally great overall, because, I mean, the set was really good. You get, like, quite a few of these for mocks and things, you know, they're really helpful for that. And also the figures, you get two droids and two clones. What more could you ask for? Not just that, though, but they come with Battle Pack, which is the main difference between these and just any other clones. So I suppose they're jet, jet troopers. Yeah, um, I mean these might be the first of battle packs we saw in this what in this sort of completely white color. Maybe I can't remember. So there we go. That's they're really awesome. Um, I don't really say about it really, other than. The backpack, they're exactly the same as normal clone troopers, but that's awesome. I love the way you get a backpack. I wish you'd get a backpack with every clone trooper, just because the good thing about having a backpack is that you can easily take it off and it won't affect the normal trooper. Like if you just want a normal clone trooper, you can just take your backpack off um, or put it on if you want it. So, that, so you just have the option rather than having to put it, you know. But anyway, he just comes with a normal Clone Wars head because it is a Clone Wars set. We get his torso, it's just, you know, the usual clone. <clears throat> um, and yeah, I assume he's meant to fight the battle droids in this set. We get two of him. So that's really awesome, the fact we get two of this guy. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you in a minute, there's a, there is a play feature to the set other than the Flick 5 missiles. That little thing over there, which you flick and it's like they're meant to be flying, you know, with their jetpacks. But I'll show you that after I've done the you know, droids, but really they're clones, they're these, you know, the usual phase one, Clone Wars clones, I've done these guys a bunch of times, I think you've probably seen them, I think we all have a fair amount of them, so anyway, it's a really good set to get a bunch of these guys, really, really good. Alright, so on the, the second figure, <laughs> we have two battle droids, and really I have, don't really need to go in this guy at all, because we've seen him more times than we can count, he's probably like the second most common figure ever, I know R2D2 is the first, but... You know, 
you must be like the second because we game all the time. I mean, that's not bad, you know, add your droid army, that's cool, but, you know, nonetheless, we do get a bunch of him. So, there you go, you get two of him. And I uh, shouldn't they meant to draw, uh, fight the clones. Yeah. Um, and there you go. So, two bad droids. Okay. <laughs> well, that's that done. Let's just see on the set. <clears throat> I suppose I'll show you this added little thing. I love the fact they put this in there. Um, I mean, I, n I never use it. It's more for the smaller children who sort of want to do that. But it's great to use it for pieces. This is basically a uh, flick thing where you basically, you put it down, put a clone tube on there, flick it, and he goes flying. It may not look that powerful, but actually if you put a clone tube on there, these are all tiles, by these are all flat tiles, that's cool. You know, you can see how it works. Okay, so you put it like that. You want me to slot them in that place. Um, let's just aim that way because I don't want to lose them. Okay, and... Oh. <laughs> okay, I was mistaken. It really isn't that powerful at all. Let's just try that again. See if it goes far, uh, further. Oh, we did. Oh, good. But, you know, you get the point. You're meant to just flick him and he goes flying, apparently. Yeah, so not really for me because I don't think many of you will want to, you know, well, at least not... Eight, many A folds or whatever. I can't really see many A folds doing that, but you know, if you if you want to, then by all means. But <laughs> it's, it's kind of cool, just some extra pieces, really, if you want to use them. So that's awesome. Little extra pieces you can use them in mocks and things. So that's cool. You know, at the end of the day, it's the same price, so you might as well put it in. Cool. <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's just a little thing. Okay. Um. Now on the actual set. Yeah. So. Uh. Okay. Cool. So this is the Clone Wars version of it. Um, this was back in 2008 when the Clone Wars literally just started, you know, we had the Clone Wars movie that year and we were getting a ton of Clone Wars sets, as you could probably imagine. Um, isn't really any features of the set other than the Flickfire Missiles, but every set has those. I don't really like to count Flickfire Missiles as a feature anymore, because there are so many sets with them that really it's sort of like becomes second nature that they have them. Um, so it's not, I wouldn't really, but anyway. So I'll just show you the Flickfire Missiles. So, you see these two cannons, this is accurate, the clone, uh, sorry not the clone tabernacle, this, whatever it is, Corbinac tank rod, is meant to have two cannons on this side, uh, one of them isn't meant to be a flick command, but it is, um, so you flick it, can't really flick it from this angle, but I'll try, oh, there we go, went quite far, actually, okay, cool, um, but there you go, that's your missile, okay, cool, that's the annoying thing. I mean, I never flick it just because I don't. I'm not really a flicker. But um, if you do want to flick it, then that's the problem. You know, it, it doesn't. It looks weird because it's not meant to be like that. You're meant to have two of them. So yeah. So so really, I just wouldn't recommend flicking it at all. Um, great thing about this is it's a printed plate. It's a really massive plate, and it's printed, which is awesome. Awesome. Yeah, it's all printed. I've seen a lot of people in, in so many different mocks using this um, uh, dish piece as, well, like a dish, actually. Like a radar piece. So, you know, so I, I've seen that a lot. So that's that's awesome. You get two of them, obviously. So you can use it a lot. I love the way it's printed. There's no stickers in the set. I don't know. So that's cool. Here we have the eyes, because it is a droid. It's not, it doesn't, it's not there. It's not, it's not piloted. And that was the problem with the original Corporal Tank Droid, the fact it was piloted, you know, the one we got, like, 2005 or something, I don't know when we got it, but there was a place we had to put, like, a droid, and that wasn't accurate, because it it is a droid of itself, which is why it's got the sensor things as eyes, and it can drive itself. Yeah, so we do get these treads, don't know, I should probably check how many treads we get, I'll check in the instruction manual in a minute, but, you know, it's really cool. We get a few spares, I remember. We get, I think we get like a couple spare. This is when it's, um, you know, quite tight up. Yeah. Um, so, on studs. Yeah. You can see that it's not really... Not really working that well. Works a bit, but not really. On a flat surface, it works even worse. Yeah, that's because it's quite stiff. 
I'm not sure whether it's got something to do with like I'm meant to put one more in there so it's looser. I'm not sure if that would help. But um, so I think that's what it's probably meant to look like. That's what it looks like in the instructions. And yeah, it doesn't go because it's quite stiff when you're doing that. Yeah, it's cool. But I mean, it's all right because I mean in a uh, mock it wouldn't obviously be an issue rolling about, and in a stop motion you could roll the things yourself. So it's not really that much of an issue unless you actually want to play with it. Um, and in which case I'm not sure you really care. But you know, okay. Okay, so there you go. Uh, quite short actually, and when I say that, you know, short compared to the new one. Um, yeah. And here we get these, these are really rare pieces actually, we get these black, you know, because we get these a lot in the sets that are meant to hover, but you don't get it normally in black, so that's cool. That's awesome. Okay, let's just compare it to the 2013 one. I did do this when I reviewed this 2013 one. By the way, please go check out that review of the 2013 one. <laughs> um, striking differences, it's bigger. Like the Homie Spider Joy review, the new one is considerably bigger. I mean, look at that size comparison. It's, 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 you know, it dwarfs the Clone Wars one. I think even the old one was bigger than this one. So I think this is the smallest one yet. Um, see? So, you know, there you go. The, the one I liked about this more is the fact that this had sort of three missiles. One of them was a flip missile. So it wasn't like Lego... Converted one of them or one of the guns into a flicker missile. Like they added one, so that just you know it. I think it just looks cooler and it's better for me because then whether you flick it or not, it's still accurate because it's still meant to have two. So this the funny if the bottom one's longer than the top one on this one, but it's the other way around here. So I don't know which one's going to be longer, the bottom or the top one. Please leave that in the comments if you know. But I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't matter. I love the detailing on this so much more, it's so much cooler. I just gotta say, 2013 one is so much better than the Giant 8 one, just like the Homing Spider Droid. It's so much, you know, it just feels much more bulky. Not just that though, but this is also £20, you can still buy it, um, so you can easily get a lot of this. And also you get Django Fair and a Clone Trooper and a Genos and Battle Droid. So if anything, the figures are probably better. I mean, yeah, here we get do get two normal clones, which is quite rare, and it's called cool to add your droid to your droid army. But, you know, I think the new one, figures-wise, has to be better because you get Django Fett and all that stuff. It's so awesome. So there we go. I mean, and obviously the major difference, uh, another major difference, is those eyes are orange. These eyes are green, or sort of yellowy green. Yellow, you know, translucent green. Whatever. Um, yeah. This one, I think, is far more accurate. Testing it on studs and, you know, see? On a surface, smooth surface, it rolls much easier. And on the studs, hang on. you can hear that it's it's you know just so much better. Let me get you know white ones at this one. Funny enough, <laughs> you think it'd be the other way around, but you know whatever. Okay, okay. So you can just see how much taller this one is. Ridiculous. So yeah, so this one is just so much cooler. In my personal opinion, so much more awesome. I'm just going to show you the inside of this one. Yeah. No real point, but I just, you know, I thought I might. See how the mechanism works inside here? Yes, three of these pieces, you know, one here, one there, and there. Simple. Um, yeah. Some of the pieces in here are quite big and useful, actually. You know, some of these pieces down here are actually quite useful. Not really rare, but I'm like, the fact that they're so common makes them useful. You know, we get some cool pieces around here. Really cool, really cool. You know, comparing it to the inside of this one. <laughs> wasn't planning to really take these off, but okay. Yeah, if I can. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> this one, you can see, also a lot of very useful pieces. So, comparing it, we have some nice stuff in here. And yeah. So then, there you go. Um, not really much more to say about this set, really. It's a, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good set. I'm not going to lie. 
it was definitely a very good set at the time when you definitely got a lot of, you know, definitely very youthful, very all that. I said a very lot of times there, but uh, <laughs> but just you know, one that you wanna, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's a good set, I suppose. Like the Home Inspired Droid, I wouldn't recommend going on eBay to buy it just because I personally prefer the 2013 one, as I think a lot of people do. Uh, you can still buy this one very easily. The figures are really good, very useful. Um, just a whole host of reasons. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you want to go online to get it, then, you know, by all means, go get it. Oops. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's all breaking apart on me. But, you know, okay. Um, so, yeah. But that's my review on it, basically. I can just... Okay. So, there you go. Quite small... Mm-hmm. Okay. So, onto the instruction manual, I think. Quite thick, actually. Thicker than I thought it'd be for this sort of... Not, you know, thick as such, but I mean, like, thicker than I thought it'd be for a set of this size. In the back, you have the Lego Club thing. Yeah, there's something there. I reviewed that, by the way. You can check that out. Yeah, I've got that. Reviewed that. Uh, haven't got that. Reviewed it. Haven't got that. Okay, and yeah, and there you go, and you're meant to, as it says there, get the thing, and yes, whatever. I, I remember that. Oh, cool. Yeah, so, <clears throat> I think they're on Christosis or something, probably in that sort of battle. I don't remember seeing it there, but I might be wrong, I don't know. I don't remember seeing it in Christosis. Oh, gosh, came off. <laughs> Anyway, so that is the set, really. Um, not much more to say about it. It's, it's, yeah, so I suppose I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, just because we got the 2013 one, I personally prefer the 2013 one considerably. You can still buy it, it's just so much better in many ways. Um, but at the time, it was, this was a really good set. I personally think this was better than the first one, you know, for quite a few reasons. So, basically, just getting better. So, yeah. Um... So there you go then, that's my review of the Corporal Lance Tank Droid. It's a good set, it really is. Not really anything you want now, just because we've got the new one, but I've said that like three times now, probably more actually, so I'll just, I'm just going to stop this. <laughs> anyway, so, thank you for watching this uh, review of it. If you like this review, please give it a thumbs up down below. Please leave me any comments in the comments section. Um... Just anything really, any questions you have, any, well, just anything really, uh, just leave down there. Um, if you've got, if you, uh, yeah, <laughs> and please subscribe to my channel if you want to, I suppose. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm sort of rambling on a bit at the end. I don't know why really, I'm just sort of, I don't know, I suppose I'm just sort of a bit tired. Anyway, <laughs> so, okay. Thank you for watching this review. Please like this video, please comment down below and whatever you want, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos um so yeah so as always thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video which will probably be the mandalorian um battle pack actually so please enjoy that i really like the battle pack and it's really cool so yeah okay so i'll see you then um joseph smith out guys bye troops <laughs>